Hi, guys. Welcome to another Orion fan report, live from the soccer sphere. We have some pretty tough games coming up. First, Invincible United, then Super Strikers. But as always, in Coach Black we trust. What? What is that? There's been an alien fighting at a soccer stadium. A close encounter of the first kind. But is it legitimate? Impossible to tell. We need a man on the ground. Anyone know anything about football? Uh, that's the one with the ball, right? I've already identified the perfect candidate. He knows soccer. He has access to the stadium. And most importantly, he's a believer. Klaus, prepare to make contact. We've just witnessed the upset of the season, boys. Orion anticipated Invincible United's every move, predicted their every strategy, and dominated the scoreline. I know how they did it. Coach Black has been getting help from aliens. This again? Uh, Klaus. I watched this clip like 20 times. I'm telling you guys, it's real. There's no such thing as aliens. Those videos are just CGI. <laughs> Klaus has been spending way too much time on the bench, Coach. If it isn't aliens, how did Orion know Invincible United's entire game plan? Coach Black obviously studied their previous games and learned their strategies. But what if he's done the same to us, Coach? Don't worry. I've developed two all-new, never-before-seen moves. It's of the utmost importance that we keep them top secret. That means no talking about them. I don't even want you to think about them because the aliens can read our brainwaves, right? Focus on these moves, not UFO sightings. Got it? Got it, coach. You'd think it was match day at the soccer sphere, but actually, Orion Stadium is now the world's newest alien sightings hotspot. Take me home, E.T. They live amongst us, man. The lights, they're coming for us! I'm now joined by Orion manager Coach Black, live from his observatory on top of the soccer sphere. Coach Black, what do you make of these so-called UFO sightings? <laughs> the lads are merely a beautiful cosmic ray shower. Ha, huh. I bet his alien overlords told him to say that. Turn that thing off already. El Matador must go betty by. Your side destroyed Invincible United last week. Some people... Claim you were helped by, you know, these, these... Aliens? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> but seriously, my secret is just a uh, thorough preparation. Well, it seems like the sky's the limit for Orion. As for the UFOs, I'll leave that to the experts. The truth is totally out there, man. The lights! They're still coming for us! Why wouldn't they come to Earth? Huh? Who are you? We're a top secret organization of specialists. We search for and monitor alien activity on Earth. We're the first, second, middle, second last, and only line of defense. We are the National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ow! Ah. He always does this! The intention was for this to remain a clandestine operation, you dope! Sorry, guys. If it makes you feel any better, you put on a great show. Now, what do you guys want? We know you've been watching the lights of Orion footage. Of course. It's the most conclusive proof we are not alone. We're looking for someone who can find out the truth about the lights. Someone with access to the soccer sphere? We're looking for someone like you, Klaus. What? Me? An alien hunter? Ah, uh, I can't. What? what? Why not? We've got a big game coming up. 
I need to concentrate on our new... <gasps> Not meant to talk about them. <gasps> Not even meant to think about them. Sorry, I'm not your guy. <gasps> I knew it! Crop circles! I told you guys there were aliens here. Oh, please! There is a perfectly rational explanation for this. Yep. I made them. Huh? <gasps> no wonder you wanted me to keep quiet about the aliens. You're one of them. There's no way I was going to teach you the top secret. You know what? Then practice them at Orion's home stadium the day before the game. So I created the most private training facility in town. This is the last time you're going to see these moves. So pay attention. No peeking, defenders. Hmm? We're going to test these moves on you guys. Move one uses the overlap to find space behind the defense. Ain't getting past us, bro. I know. But El Matador will. Move two uses pace and passing to break through the opposition defense. <laughs> nice work, boys. You get all that? I may need you out there tomorrow. Yes, coach. There's no way Orion will see these moves coming. Haven't you watched that video enough? Beauty sleep required. Where is your rational explanation for this, El Matador? Ah, uh, that is just uh, Orion testing their floodlights. Floodlights coming from the sky? Well, it still makes more sense than aliens. You're so sure about it, let's go find out. Reports are streaming in. It's happening again. That's not all. Klaus is on the move, heading right for the stadium. Ha! I knew he couldn't resist the search for the truth. Wait, we're tracking Klaus? Oh, you guys never tell me anything. Yeah, that's because you tell your mom all our secret information. No, I don't. Hmm. Klaus seems to have activated the camera on his Digitab. I should be able to access the feed. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Mom! You gotta see this! Oh, Super League legends sneaking around like grave robbers. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Klaus? Huh? Am I dreaming? Only if you are dreaming about how right I was. Hey, is it just me, or are these lights following a pattern? Ah! 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 
It's a fuzzer pattern, yeah? Definitely a sign of intelligent life. take on the mighty Super Strikers. Here at the Soccer Sphere, it's come one, come all for alien enthusiasts. Although someone needs to tell them they're here to watch the football, not the skies. One man who will definitely be keeping his eyes on the game is Orion's coach, Black, still in his observatory. Yes, Lina. From up here, I have a perfect view of the galaxy and what's happening on the beach. Hmm. The lights, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they take your brain waves. Wow, I didn't know crazy was contagious. What's gotten into you, El Matador? What? There's something inside me? Ah, oh, they laid their alien eggs inside of me. Oh, get them out, get them out. <laughs> Tell me, Klaus, where do you think El Matador got all these crazy ideas? You got to listen to me. The lights, save us. Say lights one more time. I dare you. As for you, I don't care if an alien invited you to a tea party. You're in the starting lineup. Super Strikers may be in good form, but they've never played against a team receiving help from out there. Oh, Mac, not you too. <laughs> I'm just getting into the spirit of things, Brenda. Super Strikers attack and attack. But Orion are way ahead of them. Almost as if they're getting help from... Don't you say it, Mac. Move one. Daring pass from Dancing Rasta. They obviously practice that one in training. That Twisting Tiger's run straight into a dead end. Oh, no, he hasn't. Ha -ha! Brilliant deception from Super Strikers. Wow. Heads up! <laughs> no way! Once again, Orion are just too good. How did Maiden know? Last chance of the first half. Come on, dude. It's up to us. Okay, let's do it, Shakes. Huh? Ah! <laughs> They're here! Aliens! <laughs> El Matador certainly keen to get back to the locker room. Maybe he needs the toilet. <laughs> Phew! That was a close one. Huh? Coach! You can sub me, drop me from the team, make me wash everyone's dirty socks, but you have to listen to me about the lights. Ugh. Fine, you have my attention. The lights I saw last night were tracing out the exact patterns of our secret moves. Even if I did believe you, how can you prove this? I recorded it all on my Digitab last night. But I dropped it. Face it, Klaus. You don't have proof because there's no such thing as aliens. <sighs> the truth is in here. What is this? National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division at your service. And the Arctic nerd? Really? What are you guys doing here? We've been trying to contact you, man. Uh, last night in the cornfield? That was you? 
You scared the pants off me. Why did you dress like that? Uh, why wouldn't we dress like this? There's something you all need to see. Klaus, we accessed the video you recorded on your Digitab last night. Well, I never. Klaus is right. Those lights are following the exact patterns of our moves. And check this out. Beta? So that's how Orion knew our first secret move. But where are the lights coming from? Please don't say aliens. The truth is actually up there. It's finished! Super Strikers, you can try any secret move you want, but you won't stand a chance against Orion. Because I have reached new heights of football excellence! <laughs> In space, no one can hear you laugh. So where's Coach Black? <coughs> Observe. He was up in space the whole time. After surveilling your moves from his space station, he traced them out with the lights, teaching his players how to counter them. And the UFO hysteria was the perfect cover-up. I knew there was something weird about those interviews. <laughs> <sighs> Klaus, you have great intuition, both on and off the pitch. I should have trusted you more. Uh, sorry to ruin the moment, but how's knowing this going to help us in the second half? Yeah, we only have one move left, and you know the cat's out of the bag on that one. Well, Coach Black doesn't know that we are onto him. What are you thinking, Klaus? I have an idea for another new move. With the score still deadlocked, Coach is making his first substitution. Strange decision. Klaus hasn't been on the first team for ages. Ah, hello, Mr. Snooper Striker. You were terrified of the lights last night, but you're about to find out how scary they really are. <laughs> Move to him, brothers. Come on. <laughs> Just as expected. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Shakes to Twisting Tiger. Back to Shakes. Another failure. Orion saw the danger a mile away. Nowhere to go, Shakes. <laughs> huh? But Orion have left Klaus open in the middle. That's not move two. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus! Believer Brenda. No comment. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait, that means Super Strike is one, right? No idea. Yes! The one! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta call my mom! Yeah! 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 <laughs> I hate them! I hate them! Self-destruct oh. mechanism activated. No! 
Yes, you have 20 seconds to enter the escape pod. Stupid ship! You have 10 seconds to enter the escape pod. Already came true. V1. Whoa. <laughs> hey, man. Watch out, man. Here I come, man. I like to say, man, man. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose to other people's business. Blargal, blargal. Blah, blah, blargal. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best. He is the one, all fans adore. El My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Ah! Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You <laughs> is skunk. I'm getting out of here. The skunk. Hmm? Oh, it stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expect a tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, 
Maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technicali. Yeah. Who knows what that madman Tony Vern is up to? Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. Oh. Hmm, what should I do for my first scene? El Matador, can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um, Ponytail Magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. All right, all right, we get it. That went well. I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. <gasps> John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh, the 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> 
drama. El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm -mm. Drama, check. What else? Action. Ninjas? What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, God. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I going to do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare! Shakes, come back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open to you. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, I've never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, oh yes, much better. What have you done? It wasn't me, it was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? Whoa. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rule, Shanks. Uh. I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Byrne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Byrne sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. Eat 
this, Fido! Amazing! Unbelievable! Unstoppable! <laughs> Oh, not that there is rules today are going straight into the highlights of the year. <laughs> How can this day get any worse? That'll do it. Dude, that was like the craziest goal I've ever seen. Yeah, much better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Uh, don't worry, it was Tony's fault. Are we going to teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Scores 2 0 to Super Strikers, and Big Bo's had nothing to do all game. Oh! Ah! Ah! Nakama are in Super Strikers box! Woo! Ah, nothing to get excited about, Brenda. Block is there. But if he doesn't get this tackle right, it's a penalty for sure. for the big man. Watch the cleanest tackler in the Super League. You rock, Watch! The third one. Yeah! yeah! Right on, right. man! Listen up, guys. The Robotics and Football Exhibition is coming up next week. Prof? Oh, uh, well, we thought we'd do something special this year, so I've made a robot. Of one of you. Huh? Hmm? Ah, uh, hmm. must be cool Joe. He does the best robot. <laughs> it must be me. Why replicate anyone less good looking than the great El Matador? Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Introducing Roblox. Tony, why does this tin can get to travel with the team? Cuz, unlike you lot, Chip T. Chuckerson is going to win me a prize. The game? Against Super Strikers? Oh. The other difference between Chip and you lot is he can actually learn things. Copy movie star. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Um, I don't understand, Tony. He's gonna win me the robotics and football exhibit. Iron Tank are already the perfect robots. Ow! No foul, Cleon. No foul. And, and the Robotics, the robotics in Football, football grand, grand Prize goes, goes to... to... Yes? Yes? Roblox! Yeah. What? Look, hmm? a quick interview, perhaps? I can translate if you want. Been learning Brazilian. Tell me about your robot twin. <laughs> Physically, Roblox is a perfect copy of me. How could they give the award to the robotic dimwit? He's just a mindless replica. So, how's this football? <laughs> I don't know. Prof says playing against Roblox would be extremely dangerous, because he's all steel and hydraulics. Oh, 
<laughs> Healy. So what will he be doing at Strikerland? Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League's greatest team. Ah, a tour guide. So, who do you predict will win this weekend? Super Strikers or Technicali? I predict Super Strikers will prevail in our next game. Nice. Block? Circle Gloves and the Blazer. Um, I'm only halfway through the Brislovian course. Uh, but if you ask me, Lena, I just need to score one goal, and Block will take care of the rest. Not if I take care of Block first. Copy. Block. Rogue, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I can just figure out how to get your processor into that lumbering pile of nuts and bolts. Stop! First law of robotics, no water. Water will make you malfunction. But you have given me an idea. Technology from previous inventions. For example, I used the analytical algorithm from the magic Roblox eyes. Water! Get Roblox out of here! Go! Go, Chip! Go! exhibit has been locked down with all robots inside. No, no, no! There was so much he still had to see. Did you? Sure, that was one awesome robot block, Prof. In hindsight, it would have been difficult to make a robot as good looking as me. This sucks. Schmeigel Fleur. Clear all robot parts. Send those tin cans to the scrapyard. Yes, it worked. And by the time Super Strikers realize they're playing with a robot, half the team will be injured. <laughs> Let's put the robotics exhibit behind us, okay? I don't want it affecting our performance against Technicali. Now, get to it. El Matador? Uh... My preparation will be purely mental, Coach. Reminding myself how awesomely amazing I am. <sighs> hey, Block. I reckon the best practice I can get is against the world's best defender. You. you seem different. I think I'll do some training where I won't end up in hospital. Oh! These super strikers are too fast and skilled to be injured by Roblox. Hmm? But my players aren't. John J. Johnson Jr. Hi, Tony! I've come up with a strategy for you. Great. Let's hear it. Dribbling. Ah, uh, again? I thought the doctor cleared that up. He means dribbling a soccer ball. I want you to dribble straight at block, John J. Johnson, Jr. Isn't that kind of risky? With Roblox on the pitch, there'll be cards for Super Strikers and penalty kicks for Technicali. <sighs> I am Roblox, the robot block. The true legend is over there. Danger! 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 Danger. <laughs> Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League Trophy. Let's begin our tour. Circle. Okay, boys, let's call it for today.
be the block. What's up with you? You seem different. Hey, Block. You coming? Sure, totally lad. Something's up with Block. He's playing weird, speaking weird. Shaw shakes, dude. It's not like you're an authority on Breslovian. Yeah, brother. Aren't you still learning? <laughs> Cassette tape? Yeah, latest technology in Breslovia. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbil, Zerk, Glarg, Bzork. Now you say it. Gerbil, Zerk, Glarg, Bzork. Yep, I know that one. Next up, Zerk, Lagerb, Blurgle, Strazer. Blurgle, Strazer. Hey! <sighs> okay, tape six. Huh? Weird. Where are six to nine? Are you ready for the final level of Learn Breslovian? Here we go. Rarl clad zuzangle crad blook to rasbrico. Got it. Huh. If my Breslovian isn't dodgy, then what's up with block? Next up, Zorglang the Zirkle Barbell. Oh! Tapes! Block the rug! One of our main values at Striker Land is determination. It's much day and fight like No matter where you are, whatever you're doing, it's a fantastic day for a bit of football. Super Strikers have been looking good, but Chuck T. Chipperson is in great form. Block will need to be on top of his game, Mac. I'm sure he will, but uh, he's so reliable. Always there when Super Strikers need him. <laughs> Block! We need to talk. Purple. Zergle Purple Gerb? The rather Grinlock, to Colonel for Boomba. He says he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Wow, Chicks. Your Brislovian has really improved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Block! I know something's wrong. Your game, your Brislovian, it's like you're a different person. Excuse me? Huh? You took my tapes. But why would you need to learn Brislovian? <laughs> because you're not Block. You're Roblox. You can't go out there. You, you can't play. You'll hurt people. Roblox, listen to me! Please remember to look after your belongings during the tour. And last out, last week's man of the match, Block! Oh, no! He's a machine, Brenda. Well, where's Shake? Aye. I thought we had a first choice 11 on both sides. Klaus, warm up. Eagle Eye, Grizz, get shakes. Oh, uh, what's the strategy again? Uh, you run straight at block. Oh, right. striker to do business with Block. <laughs> wow. So unlike Block. Yes! <laughs> I mean, what was that? Whatever happened to fair play? Keep it tidy, Block. Another one, and the card's coming out. Shakes! Shakes! I don't get it. Where did he go? Oh, 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 oh. 
Restroom? It's down the stairs. First left, second right, immediate right, and straight ahead. <laughs> Next up, the Strike Alliance Ball. Isn't it total luxury? <laughs> well, folks, all good things must come to an end. for the final part of our exciting tour. And it gets worse, the big defender. Penalty huh? to technicality. Lock best clean up his act soon or he'll be sent off. Fasten your seat belts because the final stop on our tour is the Strike Land Garage. to a surprisingly poor performance from Block. Who would have thought? First a missing striker, now a defender whose brain's gone missing? North. Uh, uh, Shakes? Don't let anyone know I've been here. That's not Block, it's Roblox. Yeah, and I always take advice from dudes hiding in lockers. He put me in here. He finds out you're onto him and you're next. You need to get him out of here. Block, what is wrong with you? Burger Blogger, grab the boo. Oh, I know this one. Block's uh, hitting the showers. Right, Block? Since when do you speak Breslovian? I've been taking night classes. That isn't Block. It's Roblox. Hmm. Yeah, right. The dangerous tackling, weird Brislovian, cold, steely demeanor? Well, we're about to find out if I'm right. Why is that, Shakes? Robots don't take showers. <laughs> So if that's Roblox, where's Blow? <laughs> Super Strikers drive only the coolest vehicles. Well, there's our tour guide. Someone switched the robot's processors. Shakes, you were right, dude. But where is Block? <laughs> He says we've got to go on for the second half, or we'll forfeit the game. Muggle Blah. Don't worry, he's got this. Can't wait for him any longer. Huh? huh? They didn't sub him? Looks like your work isn't done, John J. Johnson Jr. Uh, block! You did it! 
Uh, I think? The second half is about to start, and Super Strikers have a lot of work to do. Well, Coach should have started by subbing Block. He's the reason they're losing. Finish John J. Johnson Jr. once and for all! And get what he deserves! A red card! <laughs> That's more like it! Vintage block! Smooth, slick, and effective! Oh! I'm too clever! My invention has learned to play like the best defender in the league! <laughs> Sorry, Tony, you're wrong. No one can play like the block. Blow, 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 blow. No, no, no! Whatever was troubling Block in the first half is ancient history. Nice one, brother! <laughs> Block, you did it! And where is your very scary twin? But who could have heard one? So I'm hanging from Strike the Land, Roblox about to ditch me, when suddenly I remember something. How could we not, Block? My new robot friend. And now for the final part of our tour. Ta-da! Uh, uh, I need to close Smaggle Flare. Copy. Rob Eh, I think Prof should just make a robot that looks like me next time. But how do we know we aren't all robots already? Oh!